Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. This is Ross Martin 125 and this time I will be reacting to all this videos ever recorded. Uh 1874. It is a history one, yeah. I thought, you know, it's good to look back on you know, um, back on on recordings from from like hundred years ago. We're coming into a new year. Yeah, um, I just feel the mood to watch something old. You know, and and look back, sort of thing. If you like this sort of thing? I I like history. You know, so it'll be interesting for me to look back and see this, and you know, enjoy it. Hope you like my reaction to it. Hope I give a good reaction to it. I don't know. All my reactions are good. Yes. So welcome back to another great reaction. Yes. All my reactions are awesome. All of them. Sorry if my camera's a little bit shaky. It's attached to my table. And it's... I'm, I'm shaking it right now. <laughs> I'm using my mouse on that table too. So that's why sometimes when I put my hand on the table. Like that. It shakes, you know. I've been doing something new with uh, the colouring as well. I'm trying to get it look more... I don't know, more, more human. <laughs> I'm usually like a pale ghost. Or, or really dark. You know, it's really bright or really dark. Or, you know what I mean? It, it's, I don't know. But, I've been rambling on, sorry. Let's jump in. We all take film for granted. Seeing a movie is as easy as heading out to the cinema, buying a ticket, bucket of popcorn, and a tasty beverage. But have you ever seen what it was like to make a movie 130 years ago? Sure, there was no Netflix, no cable TV, and social media wasn't even a twinkle in its granddaddy's eye. So how was it done back then? But before we take a look at some of the oldest and most nice. interesting videos showing life without technology, make sure to click subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can keep up with our latest videos. Number 1 Passage de Venus, 1874. The oldest photographic recording that we have oh. footage of is actually a movie that features the rare passage of Venus over the face of the sun. Yeah, that, that was actually pretty cool. You yeah, scratchy it looks, and you can actually see the frames before they get to the... Obviously, the, the film they're using is very small, you know? That's insane. Number two. The Round Hay Garden Scene, 1888. The Round Hay Garden Scene is widely regarded as the first true video and is the oldest surviving film in existence as verified by the Guinness Book of World Records. It's a short silent motion picture film which only lasts around 2.11 seconds. Obviously in this one, they just told the people, hey, Jay, just move around, yeah? Just move around so people know you're move it's a moving picture, yeah? If you, if you stand still, they'll think it's just a still picture. <laughs> to move about, just just walk about, you know? And just walk in circles and stuff. And <laughs> That's obviously what happened there. That's, yeah, I mean, that's what you have to do, you know, when you're trying to test it out and get it to make sure it's working right. That's crazy, though. Number three, Lumiere Workers Leaving Factory, 1895. The Lumiere brothers' significance cannot be understated. This video shows workers leaving a factory in what is surprisingly smooth video, and quite obviously a huge leap forward from the previous work by Le Prince. Oh. This short film premiered to an audience of 10 and was shot in 35mm film, the world's first. That was really smooth. Like, really smooth. I can't believe how smooth that looks. That's nuts. That looks really good, you know? It just shows you how far they came in such a short time. That's incredible. Number 4, Olympics, 1896. In 1894, a young French aristocrat, Baron Pierre de Coubertin, called a gathering of sports leaders to establish the International Olympic Committee and to revive the ancient concept of the Olympic Games. 
Two years later, 311 athletes gathered in a brand new marble stadium in the center of Athens to celebrate the first Olympic Games of the modern era, a return to a proud tradition. Although the title says this to be the Olympics in Athens 1896, the video is most likely from 1906, as it features events which were not part of the 1896 Games. That's interesting. See, see when you see the way they used to do it, like the first Olympics. I mean, no, no, maybe it was the first Olympics, but you know, the more modern type of Olympics. I mean, but in that there, you can see how wooden they look, like when they're like jumping and stuff. They jump and they just stop dead. At the end. It's interesting to see the the way they do it, you know, or the way they did it back then. That's cool. Number five. Arrival of a two-stage train in France, 1897. One of the Whoa. short films of Auguste Baron showing the arrival of a train which has two decks. The upper what? deck has no safety rails and seems like people are walking on the edge of the floor to get That's to the stairs crazy. leading off the train. They may all seem too dressed up for today's standards, but we're just following the dress code of their time. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> Traveling in the train and then like there's no safety rails, no nothing like that. Different times, yeah. <laughs> wow. But I know like like places like India and all still have things like this, yeah. Piled on the trains and stuff, very dangerous stuff. But to think that was like Britain back in the day. That's oh, that's that's insane. Really. Number six, early roller coaster Britain, 1898. Robert Paul is a largely forgotten name today, but he was a major pioneer of British cinema. Together with his partner Bert Akers, the pair developed their own projector at the same time as the Lumiere brothers. This video of the switchback railway was shot on their prototype camera, an amazingly different design that did share a few fundamental similarities with the Lumiere brothers design but was also very different. Now you can tell, it could be the day itself, maybe, maybe the day isn't as bright, but the picture doesn't look as bright. That could be the age. It also doesn't look as smooth as the Lemire one. Again, that could be due to age uh, rather than just a bad picture. But I don't know. The, the Lemire one looked pretty damn smooth. Uh, this one could have been smooth for its time, and maybe, like I say, just. With the age, it just got a little bit worse. I don't know. But that's, like, that's a roller coaster. Yeah, it's like, ooh, that's it. That might be all the kiddie ones, yeah? Or the kiddie roller coasters, you see. That is interesting. That is really interesting. Number seven, a trip through Paris, France, 1890s. Another early film by the Lumiere brothers showing how the citizens of Paris traveled well over a hundred years ago. What? At this stage, the subway underneath Tuileries Garden would not open for another decade. What the Parisians had was so much more that interesting awesome. than something that you would see today in a modern airport. They had yeah. moving sidewalks. People can be seen standing patiently on the platform as it moves them down the road. This innovation was so revolutionary that it commanded the attention of Thomas Edison, who traveled to Paris to see this modern marvel in the flesh. I would like to get on that. I would like to try that. That would be really cool. That would be really cool. Wait, would you love to stand on that and just go for a ride? I mean, obviously we have like moving things nowadays, like moving floors and stuff and stairs. That's made of wood. And, uh, and how far does it go? Does it, does it only go so far and then you have to cross the street and get on to another one? What? That's, that's nuts. How far does that stretch to? I, I'm, I'm really curious. Number 8. Lumiere Brothers Film Night 1895-1900 in 1896, the Lumiere brothers opened Cinematographie Theatres in London, Brussels, and New York City. 
they showcased their collection of more than 40 films that they had shot celebrating the beauty of everyday French life. Memorable moments included a party where a group of men are using a blanket to launch a laughing party goer into the air, as well as two ladies giving money to poor children. Cinema attendees were captivated by seeing life's moments unfold on the big screen. Everyday life may seem what boring and mundane, but seeing it on the big screen from a true observer's perspective was a totally new and foreign concept. What, what was I watching there? Two women just standing there throwing money, like 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 birdseed, out to children. They were like little pigeons going along picking it all up. I wanted to just hand them the money, give the money to the children, have them line up and just give them some money. What? What the hell? Rich people, huh? Like oh look at these filthy little urchins. Let's throw some money down to them, cause we're such amazing. Kind people. Oh, they're like little pigeons just milling around. Let's let's throw the money down and watch them pick it up. Like what? Okay, it could be like a game. Maybe the children liked it. I I don't know. That just seems weird. It's like they're just treating them like animals. Yeah. Could be just a game they were doing. I I don't know. That's weird. People are weird. Okay, now that I've got my my. My, my little peeve out of the way. Uh, I'm gonna say that the earlier that one there looked pretty smooth. I thought for the most part, you know, uh, the other one didn't. But I think that's just age. Like I was saying before, you know, it probably really smooth for the time. It's just age, you know, spots and things get onto them and things like that. There, yeah. So that's that's all that is. I think. Number nine, Living Wigan. 1902. Huh? Another one from the Mitchell and Kenyon collection, this vibrant film was shown as part of the Lancashire town celebration of Edward VII's coronation. People wave, cheer, and laugh at the camera as a tram worker unsuccessfully tries to move them out of the way by spraying them with water. It is a short, <laughs> silent documentary film capturing street life of the time. Whoa! Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that, that was a funny one. <laughs> kind of like, hey, get out of the way. I need to move. I need to move this tram. And he's like spraying them with water. And they're all just laughing and running about. And I like how they put a bit of colour in it. Okay, they did that with the other one. With the with the street, with the moving path thing in, in Paris. Put a bit of colour in it and it looked really, really good. Really nice. This one looks good too. You know? Really nice too. I love it when they put a little bit of color in things. You know, it gives you a better perspective. You know what I mean? You can see things a lot better. You know, a little bit more depth. Stuff like that. Number 10. A Trip Down Market Street, 1906. This short film was made by the Miles Brothers and shows what daily life was like in an early 20th century San Francisco. It's a look back at the transportation, fashions, and architecture of that time in history. The film passes landmarks that include San Francisco's tallest building, the Call Building, and also the Palace Hotel. It is culturally significant as it preserves exactly what San Francisco looked like four days before the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. This was a time wow. where cable cars, horse-drawn carts, and automobiles all shared the same road. I mean, that was awesome. I mean, getting to see it, it's like you're there, you know? Like you're on the street, just driving down the street. Like the wild west of, of, of uh, roads. It was just swerving in and out and doing all this. Wow! I can't imagine driving in a road like that. That's crazy. Seriously, looked really good though. Number 11. London Olympic Games in 1908. This was London's first ever Olympics. The footage shows several events that were part of those games. As we can see, the safety of the participants was far below today's standards. As we see, yeah. no mattresses in the video, only sand to absorb the athlete's fall. 
The footage also features women's tennis and archery, which clearly shows yeah. how uncomfortable women felt competing in those long dresses. Yeah. Okay, that was interesting. Yeah. Good to see women competing. And, uh, yeah. Like, but they had to play, like, the men got to wear, like, like a tank top and shorts and stuff like that. The women had to wear dresses, you know, because they were covered, they had to stay covered up. Different dress codes for women, I suppose, you know. And maybe the women themselves just didn't want to strip down, you know. I don't know. A lot more modest back then, I suppose. It came to women. Number 12. A Trip Through New York City, 1911. This footage was shot by a Swedish newsreel company and was originally a mini documentary used as an introduction to the immigrant experience to be advertised overseas in the hope of bringing workers to America, the land of opportunity. At the time, Manhattan had a population that of about smooth, 2 million, smooth. many more people than the 1.6 million wow. people who live there now. That's so crazy. Earliest uh, taxi, maybe? <laughs> no, I think it's more of a... Maybe a family car? Guy behind them was probably a taxi, I would say. That's crazy. Whoa. We oh. hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give us a like and let us know in the comments how much you like taking a trip God. down memory lane and learning about the early history of cinema. <laughs> Oh, that's insane. I've seen pictures of guys doing it, you know, on the... That is absolutely insane. Like, they didn't have, like, safety harnesses or anything like that there back then. You guys are literally just up there. Oof. Okay, that is the end of the video. That was cool, though. See that? I was really interested in all of that. That's so good. Hold on, I'm gonna try and I was I was really surprised how good some of them looked. How smooth they looked and they put a bit of color in there too. Yeah, that was really interesting as far as I'm concerned. I hope you find it interesting. If you like history like me. I mean obviously the age of them you know, some of them were smoother than others. But the last ones were actually really good. You know what I mean? Like Arts and stuff, and seeing how they how they did it back then, bro, that was crazy stuff. Yeah, hope you liked the reaction. I'm gonna be putting uh, polls on my channels down to try and get people to interact and uh, choose videos. So I'll put like four videos in a poll. You guys vote for them, and then tell me which one you want me to do next. And I'll do my best to get that to you as soon as possible. I haven't set it up yet, but I will, hopefully soon. Uh, hopefully by the time I get the, this video is up, it'll already, will already be on the community tab. My channel, go to the community tab on the channel, check it out. And please do, yeah, subscribe and like and all that. I do have a second channel called Vile Spartan Kick 2, where I do mostly movie reactions, a little bit of anime. And if you like movie reactions or reactions in general, my reactions too. Head over there. You never know. Some of your, some of your favorite movies might be on there already. You know, we've got Ghostbusters, Spies Like Us, like Goonies, Alien, Aliens. You know, all those type of ones. You know, have them Back to the Future yet or anything like that. They're mostly rewatches because that's why I started the channel. They're rediscover movies I've already watched before. I haven't seen in years. 
Should be interesting. Yes. Very interesting. So until next time, I am out of here.